Hello everyone, welcome to my today's video. In this video, I am going to show you how to use third bot to secure your NGINX. We are going to use in third bot to apply that encrypt certificate and use it on our container as an example. So at this moment, we are using this URL to access our container docker and this is http and if we use it in https we will get the error message it won't work because we don't have certificate on it even you put http here the clone will automatically transfer it to https so as you can see i already uh, we created a record in Cloudflare point this OPC2 pertainer to this IP 140238153.62 that's why I can access it using HTTP so also I have another docker nginx so which you used as a reverse proxy I have basic configuration on nginx config.d and here is the container pertainers configuration so the server name is opc2 pertainer.51sec.org to get it working with HTTPS we need to install our third bot also we're gonna apply the certificate and make the changes on this configuration get HTTPS working let's start it so there's a couple of prerequisites you need to have to make first of course you need to have a record already pointing to your server doc server and HTTP has to be working and Jinx has to be installed after that then we can install start to install third bot so let's log into our docker so we have Nginx already running into this docker what I do is I just need to install a third bot in it so let's see what the OS version we have here This is a Debian 10 buster. We can try to install third bot with Python third bot and Jinx. So this additional packages will be installed, of course. Let's say yes. Let's try get update. Run third bot installation again. Okay, it has been installed successfully. You can use third bot dash dash nginx to start the configuration engine. It's asking the email address. Do you agree the terms of our service? Agree. Would you be willing to share your email address? That's fine. So from the engine, they already found the the three domains so they're asking which one domain you would like to activate HTTPS for so we can do one because that's our pertainer domain so there's two configuration whether or not to redirect HTTP to HTTPS so, it's, so we will say no 
redirect. You keep it. So that configuration has been done. So HTTPS should be working right now. Let's give it a try. This might relate to the firewall policy. So I'm going to make sure the HTTPS port has been opened. After I opened the firewall port 443, then it's obviously it's working. It, it is working perfectly now. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you.